Hello viewers, hello saints, I'm back again. This is Pamela Mpishi. You can find me on Facebook too, Pamela Mpishi, Friends of God. And if you like this video that I'm making, please subscribe, push the subscribe button and send the video to your friends and uh, just let all of us grow together and i'd like to be making more videos for you so the more people that subscribe yeah the more we just have jesus out there and we want to make jesus a household name right listen today i'm going to talk about altars somebody asked me the other day and said can you make something about altars and what exactly are altars in a nutshell, an altar, and I'm talking about a Christian altar. A Christian altar is where divinity meets humanity. When you come to the altar, this is where God restores you. This is where your self-reliance disappears. This is where we get rid of culture, the things we learned depending on where we grew up. Tradition is blasted away. All our issues are removed where we are healed. And this is where we receive revelation. Yeah? Revelation and knowledge is different from knowledge and just knowing things. Things. If you do not have revelation or knowledge, you can be studying the word of God and you do not understand it. And it certainly does not make an impact on your life because the deeper things of the world are not being revealed to you. It is also where we are purified and it's where gifts are refined. But there are different kinds of altars. Yeah, there are powerful altars there are average altars and there are weak altars and we you and i are going to be talking about powerful altars we don't want to 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 erect a weak altar on average one because an average altar is not going to help you and me so what makes a powerful altar the powerful altar depends on how much sacrifice goes at the altar yeah, how much time you spend on this altar will, will, will basically establish what kind of altar it is. There are two things that weaken your altar. Yeah, two things. If you have not adhered to the first commandment, thou shall have no other God but me. So I'm talking about idols. If things are not changing in your life, you've done everything, you have prayed and you have fasted and you go to church, check in your closet. Are there idols that you're holding on to? Because remember, there are not only Christian altars. The reason you are struggling in your life, and the reason your child has gone rampant, the reason there is so much cancer in certain families, proscumity in certain families, some families have alcoholism, some families, their children don't get married, some families, they all divorce, is because a certain altar has been erected by demonic spirits. There is a curse on that family. And you cannot get rid of this curse just because you prayed or you fasted. There are certain things that need to be in place. You need to get rid of all those idols that are in your life. All the idols that are in your life. An idol could be your husband. It can be your, your child. It can be your career. Anything that you spend more time on than God is an idol. Yeah? You cannot come in with idols into the altar. And another thing that will determine how strong your altar is, is how godly your life is. If your life is full of iniquity, because the Bible tells us that their iniquity has separated them from their God, 
Your iniquity has separated you from your God. You need to get rid of sin. When you come to the altar, you need to make sure that you have dealt with all your sin, especially your secret sin. Because those altars that have been erected by evil spirits, evil forces for the demolishing of you or your family, they are just not going to let you go because you decided to follow Jesus. Yeah? There are laws that are implemented in the spirit world. You belong to them. And as long as you still have things that belong to them, they will not let go of you. You will be trying to get into the prayer room, into the Holy of Holies with all your sin, especially your secret sin with you. And it has left all the cracks. And the demons will just get back through the cracks and they'll pull you down. If you're an oracle for God, they'll shut you up. And if you are trying to advance in anything, they will shut you down because you still have sin in you and they will not let you go. Yeah. The other thing you need to know in at the altar is the word of God, because it's the only thing that the demons are afraid of, the word of God. And the other thing the word of God does is that it activates angelic hosts. The, there are angelic hosts that are waiting for you to speak the word of God over all the curses that have come down through your bloodline, through your grandparents, through your mother, through the videos that you have watched, through the music you have heard. You have uh, entangled yourself in soul ties through sexual contact, through music, through movies, through so many things that you're not even aware of. Yeah, and there are angelic hosts that are waiting to fight for you, but you need to speak the word of God. Then you come in agreement with God and the angels will be there to battle for you. Yeah, get rid of that iniquity in your life before you come to the altar. Otherwise, you will just be struggling day in, day out. Remember what Jesus said? He said, this type of demons, this type, he said this type because he understood that there are different types of demons. Yeah. And behind every curse, behind every altar, demonic altar, there is a principality. And behind this principality, there are other lesser demons. And they will not just budge because you've decided to pray and to fast. You need to purify yourself, purify your life. Otherwise, they will not budge because you belong to them. What's going to happen is you're going to start going to what you think is the altar of God and they're waiting for you because you still have these idols. You still have these things that belong to them and now they're awake and they know that you're trying to escape and your life is just going to become even worse. Yeah. If you were addicted to alcohol, you're going to start even drinking more. If promiscuity is your problem, you're going to go out there and get as many lovers as possible. If anger is your issue, you're going to be wondering why you're praying so much and you're getting even more angry because you still have iniquity in your life. Come to the altar and be holy. Nobody is I'm not saying be perfect. Go through the Ten Commandments. Am I living according to God's commandments? Because your success to demolish demonic altars will depend solely on how committed you are to God's commandments. They are important, especially the first one dealing with demonic spirits. Thou shall have no other God but me. I bless you. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos 
on altars. So watch this space and please subscribe so that I can do more videos for you and you can receive them directly from me. God bless you abundantly. Yeah, may you live to live for Christ because life is in Jesus and in Jesus you are complete. He said, I am the way, the life and the truth. And he was not lying. I've been everywhere. He is the way, the life and the truth. Bye bye. See you soon.